Come visit Tunisia. <laughs> Our civilization is 3,000 years of. We have uh, history. We have uh, we have uh, 1,500 meters of coasts. We have been a very beautiful beach. Uh, in the north, we have uh, mountains, uh, snow, uh, co cold uh, in winter. Yes, diversity. Yes. Uh, in the middle, it's it's warm. Uh, uh, in the south, we have uh, even as uh, the desert. We have Sahara, very long, very big. Well, um, Kenya, uh, we we are very rich in, in terms of culture because we have got very many different ethnic communities, and each and every ethnic community has got its own culture. However, there are those uh, cross-cutting cultural activities. For example, the staple food, what we normally eat on a daily basis, uh, there's that staple food that will not miss in any, in any household. So in terms of um, other activities, we, have, we like sports, dancing, singing, and, and comedy. Those are, yeah, those are things that um, uh, they happen on a daily basis. So, uh, and they are very, very interesting. The story that is interesting for me, it is the future of what Africa can become. I would like to see different African nations build up their framework and their blueprint for governance and for economic development. But we have to be aware, Africa is not homogeneous. South African culture is not Tanzanian culture. Tanzanian culture is not Sudanese culture. So each and every region will have a specific culture of its own. Although there are similarities in African cultures, there are big nuances that mark differences as well. So those stories will be told from regional perspectives. Yeah. So the future is more important. The future is more important and this is what I'm going to talk about in my talk.